Final Word Daily, coming to you from Hagley Oval. I'm Cameron Punsonby and I'm joined today, most excitingly, normally people would associate me with being with Daniel Norcross, someone who I love but whose name I can't we say. We all love Daniel. But I'm trading up in the world. I've gone from one mentor to another. I've Go gone on. from Daniel Norcross to Jeremy Coney. Jeremy's here for hopefully most of the shows. Tell me you're going to be here for most of the shows. Well, let's wait and see. Goodness me. Some, someone's going to complain. Don't oh, worry. Oh, they they, they oh, often complain about me and Dan, but we, we, I don't know. Let's just do it anyway. So it's oh, fine. Okay. Right. right, we're going to mix it up to show a little well, bit Well, you today. do some, some, of, some of the things that are normally required. Exactly. I tend to forget the structure of these things. A great point. Right. Brought up early. So right. normally, what's going to happen today, and you're going to learn with us, I'm going to throw to Jeremy at this point, and he's going to do the 30-second summary. Today, by way of an example, in way you, of see you one, will do it. teach one, do one, I will do it. Hooray! And then... Every, everyone's silently cheering, watching Exactly. This. And right, I'm going But the problem is that I never really do it, so now I'm going to have to try. The yeah. show to you, the show is brought to you by Visit Victoria, very important. I'm visiting Victoria in a couple of weeks, I'm going over to Melbourne after this series. But for now, we're in Christchurch, I'm in day one of the series, and it's brought to you in 30 seconds by me. What happened? Right, New Zealand, 319 for eight. Who's happy with that? No one. England, but actually, you know what? England's happy because at 199 for three, New Zealand were well set. They were about to take dominance. They had Kane Williamson at the crease, being back, being brilliant. They had Daryl Mitchell, who loves scoring runs against England, but, out of nowhere, with 50 overs on the board, the ball old, 30 overs of misery ahead for England, New Zealand decided to, to be bad. They decided to be bad. They all got out. Darrell Mitchell caught, trying to hook, caught a kind of backstop. Tom Kane Williamson on 93, a test match 100 on his return, awaiting, cuts to point. Tom Blundell does the exact same thing. Sherb Bashir, long hop, cuts to point. All of a sudden, New Zealand have crumbled, not quite in a heap, but not where they wanted to be. They end 319 for eight. England the happy of the two sides. New Zealand going, mm, the game's in the balance, but it could have been so much more. Does that sound about right? I think that sounds excellent. Perfect. 35. 35 well sounds wonderful. You're through. So from a Kiwi perspective. Yes. Are they going, this is fine, we're still in the game, we've still got runs on the board, or was it a case of really, they should be looking at 450, 500? I, I get, it depends where you start to look from. I think okay. perhaps, you know, at the start of the day, you get put in on a, on a pitch that's got a thick carpet of grass on it. Lovely. Uh, a slightly slow outfield, a slower, even it's though it lush, looks pristine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll quicken up. But, uh, you know, so you, you would say, hmm, 320 for eight. Yeah, we'll take that. But if you actually look from tea time, where New Zealand were about 193 for three, mm -hmm. and I think almost got to 200 for three at one point, then you lose five wickets quite quickly, then it's slightly more disappointing, isn't it? So, it, it, as I say, it depends. I thought the, the thick carpet of grass played quite yeah. a lot. In any game, the conditions of the game's presiding geniuses. Always, always. And so I thought that the England bowlers found it quite difficult to find the length to operate nicely from. Yes. So every time they wanged it in short, it's, it, it was all the friction and they, they, it pilfered pace. And so it came out of the ball, it set up yep. hook. And we saw lots of pulling in that first session, didn't we? And then as they tried to recover from the short ball, I think I've got two of these, so I'm You've okay. Got two. We can do so, so, <laughs> so then they pitched fuller, got driven, and so Latham in particular yeah. cut, 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 drive, 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 and got to 47 quite quickly. Uh, uh, then a mistake from Conway very early on yep. to Atkinson, pitching the ball up, pushed away, and fr further your bat goes in front of your, your, your body, that you lose control of the stroke. He wasn't looking for runs, it wouldn't have gone for any runs whatsoever. Pushed back, good catch from Atkinson, Excellent and his follow catch. through round the wicket, very important round the wicket. Conway's had a lot of trouble to bowlers coming in from that angle. So then we got to Williamson coming in early. Yep. Struggled a bit for a start to get One going. 20. Exactly. Struggled a bit. Just and again it was that taking the pace out of the ball and, and him turning the bat and the blade almost getting leading edges, wasn't he? Couple nearly went to slip and so on in that area. It took him some time to get through that. Sorry, the sun's just gone out. Um, and and so um, so he, he got himself, and he became throughout the day Mr. Glue, Mr. Mr. Adhesive Mr. Man. Glue. Yes. Okay. As he's so, often referred as. Right. And so, uh, and, and he really, as soon as he went out, New Zealand lost some quite quick wickets. But then through, so Latham went straight after a break, drinks. Yep. Conway went straight after a break, start. 
Yep. <laughs> and, that, uh, and then Ravindra started to go quite nicely. Started to attack down the wicket. Am I taking too long with this? Not at all. Okay. Going down the wicket, Bashir came on. No, uh, tallest oh. offie I've seen ever. Forever, absolutely. I don't. I can't think That's of anybody like taller. It's, 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 the release point is so high. Honestly, yeah. Jameson, if he bowled spin, would have been, but he didn't. And so, so I, I've never seen. So obviously, bounce is available. Yeah. And I think here, not so much turn for him, but if you go over the top of the ball and you get, you get that kind of dipping effect of the ball with a top spin, and it goes suddenly steeper into the ground you find yourself playing at a drive or it's dropping shorter and so he got bounced and that gave him a couple of wickets didn't it that gave him the blundell wicket interesting it gave him the nathan the nathan smith wicket that was turned straight to root here just behind that the bat nice pad. Wicket. All, all of those things were were the cause of bounce you know oh, so yeah, yeah. Jeremy, we're gonna do, I'm, so this one is for the audio we're doing we're doing live tech rolls and this one's for the video so if you can hold it there oh, video. It's amazing. See, i don't understand it's <laughs> both see this is we're in a process a terrible thing so i found it interesting you were saying about England holding their lengths or not being able to keep their lengths with the seam yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. Because I went, it was a good moment where I realised I, as someone who has not played international cricket, um, as much as I pretend to know about cricket, you speak to someone who has played international cricket and knows bowling, such as Steve Harmison, when I spoke to him for talks, but I was like, England haven't been too bad here. And they went, he went, they're not, they're not being disciplined enough in their mm. lengths. I was mm. like, you're, you're right, because they went short, well, they went to the short ball for a while, but to Williamson and Ravindra, but like you said, it kind of sat off and they were very in control. Yeah. But then, with, um, Finding that was hard. I, uh, that's sure. what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain. That, yeah. that you may want a pro to be able to handle that. You know. <laughs> I always and, want a pro and, to handle yeah, that. Yeah, and, and Wokes, Wokes, for example, it didn't nip. No. So he didn't get that. It, it didn't swing. Yeah. He didn't get that. No. So therefore, what does he rely on? He relies on accuracies. Yeah. And he relies on that uncertainty from a batsman do i go forward do i go back and so you get caught halfway in between sometimes and so but he couldn't find that in between place and so he ended up going for three and a half stokes came in in his day basically i think you describe I as i <laughs> well he kind of he's a wicket man isn't he you yeah. can see he's either going he tried short pitch bowling with three six fields on the op, on the onside uh he tried pitching up trying to get a yorker and so on he ended up going for four and a half and over he didn't as eat. it happened yeah so then then you get to i thought cast was the cast was the pick of the bowls bryden a, a really he's been in the gym this boys <laughs> and so i mean he he looked a strong bowler at the crease he got good bounce he, it was ideal when he was asked to go after T for that sort of 3-6 field. He was the man to go to, nice. yeah. I think. They had used Atkinson before that to have a go at it as well. So, um, overall, I would say both sides, as they look at the game now, they probably feel, yeah, OK. I think New Zealand uh, were slightly culpable in the terms of the eight wickets. I think if Absolutely. we go through the number of wickets, Mitchell also hitting low to high against six, three six field, got caught down, as you mentioned, caught down here. Uh, actually, Henry looked pretty safe, didn't he? Then picked out Duckett exactly down here right. as well. I think Bashir's uh, bowling and figures are kind of a, a great example of how New Zealand have potentially mucked this up. So I've got a statistic for you. This right. is only the second time ever at four, Hagley Oval. Four wickets. That a spinner in has taken four wickets in an On the first, and and in the day, first day of an innings? Exactly. Yeah. Because Bashir came on the 30th over today. And it was almost like there was a debate about whether Act. Bashir should have even played. New Zealand haven't picked a special spinner. I know they've got Phillips and Ravindra. Yeah. But England are like, oh, we're going to need Bashir. Oh, maybe yeah. it's worth picking. You don't need five seamers. And when he came on, you're like, this is New Zealand's chance. The only yeah. reason he's bowling is because Stokes' first two overs have gone for 19. Yeah. They can't, the England seamers haven't found that length that's allowing them to kind of contain the runs. Uh-oh, New Zealand in trouble. Then, Ravindra hits a full toss. But what, what happened yeah. is, is, is the conditions changed again. The wind suddenly yes. howled. Out came the, the lignite bales, didn't they? The big heavy bales were brought out to, because they were required. And, and suddenly Bashir found himself bowling into a gale for a that's while. That's Yeah, a nor'wester. So he, he actually had to cope with those sort of things. And, and I thought he did okay for a youngster, you know. I, uh, you're making me feel cruel because I, I think I kind of thought Bashir's been quite fortunate today. If you're, if it's oh, he wickets, was fortunate, no doubt, about his wickets. His full toss, yep. long up cut to point, yep. 
Uh, the third wicket was very nice, an excellent catch round the corner, Nathan yeah. Smith caught by Joe Root. Yeah. And then Matt Henry just tries to hit him to the Down moon, here. basically. Yeah. yeah. And you go, well, no one's really, England aren't getting anyone out. New Zealand are kind of handing, handing their wickets over to them. There were certainly, there were aspects about that. Yeah. But, but someone's going to get them, and he happened to get them today, and, and you'd certainly take them. Um, so, so he did a job for his, for, his, for his skipper, because who could they have bowl into that breeze as much? You either go to Wokes or yeah. you go to Stokes. You couldn't have Cass like or, or Atkinson bowling into that, I think, at that time. They had to have the top end. So I, I, thought, I thought he did a job for his team during that middle session. I think that's a really good, a, a really good summation. I hadn't thought of that, because actually in, in, in the media, in the press tent, there was kind of some talk about whether Bashir was bowling at the wrong end and actually he should have been bowling with that wind assisting the ball kind of drifting away from the right handers mm. and then being able to spin back in. No, but, but the breeze was coming from this side, so that helps him push the ball outside the right handers off stump. Hang on, no, we're going we're to have, we're gonna have Whoa, an argument about and out you go. I think was the wind blowing everywhere. This, this was so... This is a nor-west, it it's now different now. Yeah. It was nor-west coming from this way. So it was pushing the ball away from the off from the right hand's so, off stump. Can I tell you something very sad that happened Come on. today? Yes. What happened? So you the wind got... was incredibly strong. Yeah. And we've got in the in the written press, we are in a kind of a tent, a gazebo, kind of on the edge of the ground. I Down she went, went. I went and um, it was just it was just rackety and rocking. And I went and got, sat with a friend of mine, uh, left my laptop unattended, open. I came back to discover a bottle of Coca-Cola had spilled all over it. And there's just the whole keyboard just sticky, and no one has seen it. This I'm, I'm actually quite. There's, 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 there's someone who's at fault for this, and I don't know who it is, and I don't know. How, like, it's an accident. It's an accident, but it's made me very upset. Yeah, I want well, to talk about Kane Williamson. Yes, he's good. It's interesting, isn't it, that we've we've often spoken about the quartet, haven't we? We've yeah. spoken about Coley and Smith, yeah, and Williamson and Root. Root in the last couple of years, whoosh, up he's gone, hasn't he? He's done fantastically well. Played more cricket than the other. Three, I would say, maybe, maybe not so much more than than Coley, but I, I I think Williamson has certainly, you know, he's 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 pushing, he's pushing, but he's he's been of course injured. He's had more and more injury in the last couple of years. Am and I right in saying that he's got repetitive strain injury from just like netting hitting, so much, hitting so many balls? That's, that's quite that's right. Amazing, that's a remarkable. Yeah, it is. It's quite a good injury to have. You like, I love practicing. Oh, oh yeah. Well done. Yeah, holding the bus back. <laughs> the, the rest of your teammates are not quite so happy. But yeah, so he's and whereas Coley and Smith, I think they are just going through a lean, leaner sure. times, aren't they? But but certainly Root has been just outstanding in the last couple of years, hasn't he? So, t- t- statistic for Kane Williamson: he's the only batter in the world since 2018, I think they've had the marker, who's averaged more than 50 in Test cricket when everyone else is going down and they're kind of going through leaner patches. Williamson has been able to maintain that consistency. There is a train of thought that he's able to put those numbers up because wickets in New Zealand are never as extreme as they might be in England or India in a seeming it, or spinning respect. Yeah. But nevertheless, it's still just remarkably impressive. And also it, having been missed the India series, this well, huge high to come for back, his nation. To come back the first, this is the first test back, exactly. isn't it? You know, it's, it, it's been a while. Um, he was uh, scheduled, I think, to come back while, while they were playing uh, at India. But Young was doing so well. And had to be it left kind out. Of, well, I don't think he should have been. Okay. I, I really feel Young should have played. How would you have reorganised the team? I would have just put him in at number three, actually, and I would have dropped Williamson down to four, and everybody else shunts down one. Okay, and so you're leaving and, and out. And so Phillips, Phillips is Phillips left goes, out. Okay. Look, I don't think, I don't think New Zealand can expect their part-time spinners to win this game. Yeah. Okay. I really don't expect that. Uh, and so, and and the, and to be honest. The New Zealand selectors didn't think so. They weren't going to fight nature out here yep. with that thick solar grass. And so they left all the spinners out. They left AJ Spatel out. They left Mitchell Santner out. It, you, you know, they weren't, they weren't going to do that. And so why it then comes to is, is who is the better batsman? Yep. If you move the spin away, is, is Phillips a better batsman than Young? The answer to that is no at the moment. Sure. And he looked yeah. so comfortable in, in, in India. He batted for more balls than any Indian batsman over in India while he was there. He looked calm. He looked decisive. He looked unflappable. He knew where he was going to score and he had his scoring areas where he was going to. You know, to, to get that 70 and that 50 at, at Wankadi, which was the pitch that turned the most, I, I thought it was fantastic. Got that 40 or 50 runs chasing in the first innings at Bang- uh, second innings in Bangalore. So, 
And he, but every innings he went in, he made it a robust top order. And sure. they, they didn't break through, even though I was facing Ashwin and, and Jadeja about 800 test wickets. So he and then he faced Bumra as well at number three. So he did it's the jo- he did the job. job. It's, it's he cool. did the job, and he should have been here. He was the series man of the series. It almost makes it more memorable. And, and can't make it here to be, to be man of the series in New Zealand and arguably Test cricket's greatest ever shock yeah. results, and then go take a seat. Oh, mate. and he take became a, a very serviceable bat pair and was taking catches there into the spinners. But so, it, anyway, he wasn't picked. It wasn't picked. And, and at the end and, of the day, Glenn Phillips finishes and it four wouldn't one. have been a hard. Yeah. It would have been a hard thing to, for, for Phillips today, who's done a good job for New Zealand. Sign of a great and team. And we might have lost Tough a decent gully because I thought yeah. more catches would go to gully here today with the ball, you know, cl- that climb, that hitting the pitch and you know, coming. The, yeah, the, the, the and you play team. forward and you get the shoulder of the bat and it tends to go more to I gully think, and wider. I think we've, as much as I'm frustrated at New Zealand, because I always get frustrated when teams kind of don't operate at their best. And I think you guys have thrown away an opportunity here. Don't England won't. Dis- I don't want you going home and it puts you off your dinner. I get really I don't want you, no. Oh, no. But England and England kind of, I've got, they've got rewards they didn't necessarily deserve, but it sets up a very exciting match. And we're now going to thank our sponsor because I'd forgotten the other thing I was going to say. We're going to move right. the show on now because I had a point. I I've remembered it. We've got what? I've remembered it. What? Yesterday, Ben Stokes got it right. He was like, you turn up to pitches in New Zealand and you go, that's green. That's going a day and a half. And then it plays very true. Yeah. I feel like that's what's happened. And today. it kind of, it didn't nip around, did it? It's been didn't true. swing, didn't sing. Right. We are going to thank our sponsors, Visit Victoria. <laughs> go and visit Victoria. Victoria. Terrific. Melbourne. Get lovely. To Victoria. I'm going to be staying with Anyway, you like trains, yeah. trams. Anything. Get there. Row. Dinghies. That'd be a hell of a row from here. It would. Right, two seconds and then we'll be back. Hey, we're out the other side of the ad break. How professional was that? (laughs) Visit Victoria and whatever little insert you got in your ears played there. Right, we've got the Hall of Fame. Jeremy. What does that mean? Exactly. The Hall of Fame is the moment where you think was the most final word moment of the day. So whatever you feel like the final word represents in your heart. In my heart. In your heart, in, in what you believe. And Let when, me exact, this will take more than a few moments <laughs> when to you think of Adam, my heart. When you think of Adam and Jeff, mm. what, what, where does your mind go and when you think, what would well, they love about cricket? Oh, I see. Should I give you, I can give you two examples if you want. And then uh, if I give you two, and then you go and think I'm about it. I'm going to say the number of nobles, they obviously had oh, difficulty yep, 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 yep. With, with their feet. Have they changed the size of their boots? Have they, have they changed the size of the, 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 the pitch? Is there actually a scandal happening? Yes. Has the crease changed? There's all sorts of possibilities there because they had so many of them. It was Gus uh, double was figures, the, extras, the 50 in Australia the other day. What, 35, 35 40 today. here? 35. 35. It's a lot. Right, my, I've got two Hall of Fames for you. One, yeah. first one I enjoyed, Sherbyshire. Start of the day where you go, you're not going to have a bowl today, mate. It's day one in New Zealand. Field, just field, field, just field, field well, well. And don't let anyone right. notice you. Ball gets hit to him at cover or mid-wicket and he just balloons the ball before overthrows. Funny, I find overthrows funny. That, I find well, they it, are. I find it funny when people who are better than me at cricket do something worse than I would do. Sue me. The other thing right. I enjoyed... Sue me? <laughs> the other thing I enjoyed, Joe Root. His 150th test appearance today. Bat paired. And where was he fielding? Bat he was under paired. short leg. Was on. And he walked in at short leg. Yeah. When, so when it was... The, what, with the bowler? With, with, yeah, genuinely. With, he didn't do it with the spinners. Uh, he but when, ended up on the off side when, of the pitch. <laughs> when like, Brian and Carl's or the seamers were running in, he'd, there, he'd be there and then he'd like split step like he's returning a serve and crouch. Oh, like, right. I've never seen anyone do that. Which made me wonder whether Joe Root, 150 tests in, fielding at short leg, maybe doing it wrong. But then took a good catch, so he's doing it right. Did it right. What do I know? Hey. That's been day one in New Zealand. Oh, it's over. I'm so oh, sorry, yeah. you guys. I have to don't... put you all through this. We've got potentially 14 more of these with me and Jeremy. I'll find him every 14. day. We'll hunt him down. If it's not him, I'll get Vish from Crick and Fell or something. You've got a big treat coming up. Hey, they've got so much final word stuff to get through, these yeah. listeners. There's story time. There's and the don't forget, there's always editing. There's always editing. They'll sort me which out. Is, unfortunately, the editing's in my hands <laughs> and I hate editing. So it's all in. It's one cut, first time, every time. Right, final word, well, story time. Dailies from Australia, Border Gavistas Trophy. Dailies from here. We've got loads for your ears. We've got loads for your eyes. I've been Cameron. This has been Jeremy. We'll see you me, and all. speak to yeah. you again tomorrow.